Hey, hey, Blue Table clients. Yes, this video is different. It's for clients. We've got about 37 projects going right now, which is the normal amount. The highest the company's ever been at in 15 years is 265 projects. <clears throat> oh man, that was too many. So, that was too much for one mortal mind to comprehend. So I'm just going to take you around the studio, humble as it is, and show you what's going on. And maybe you'll catch a glimpse of your project. Yeah, at Blue Table has the same results as always. It's going good. Lower project count. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. All right, let's take a look. So first off, I've got a couple of new artists coming on board. One of them is named Jessica, and the other is Isaac. And Isaac is a tinkerer and is doing higher-end conversions in 3D printing. Yes, that's a new thing. So we could take, you know, your file and turn it into something painted. Uh, just send me an email on that. So anyway, this is some of Jessica's work. Uh, I'm training her, so even though people are amazing, maybe they have degrees in art, they still need to learn our style of miniature painting. And let me tell you, Jessica's got a hand for it. She did a great job on this tree man. And it has been entered into the Hall of Amazingness! So, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look. We've got this Tau Manta going on. And do you see these little vents? Here, these were crushed in transit. And I was just like mortified, like I didn't know what to do. But guess what, Isaac, our new tinkerer, he, uh, he just 3D printed out new ones and they look great. So uh, I made another video on this, by the way, you should catch that if you wanna see all the magnetization. I have this supremacy suit. This is two separate clients, by the way. And, I don't know, is this a Tau player thing? They both sent in specific paints to be used, uh, which we do allow. And this is a Squigoth, supposedly to stand in for a gargantuan Squigoth. And it's got the height, if not the bulk. But, you know, we did have to work with this particular model. And we're, we added some guns, but really, these guns don't look orky enough to me. So we're going to add in some more... Things. This does. This is okay. This looks all ramshackle, but we've got to get zap guns for this. So I got to go down to bits, and uh, there's going to be two more of these, and they are going to look insane when they are done. So check this out. This is for a Sisters of Battle project that we're doing. Uh, this is um, this is nine Razorbacks, and uh, we really only needed Rhino chassis, but I noticed that it was only a little bit higher of a cost to just get Razorbacks, and we always need these turrets. So I just put those on our web store. And uh, I've been putting a lot more on the web store recently. Uh, this is role-playing game scenery from Deep Cuts, which is by WizKids. And I think Nolzer's Miniatures, I think that's Wizards of the Coast. Uh, but anyway, these figures are absolutely amazing. I think I lost out on a contract with these guys, a pretty big one. And quite frankly, it was too much. They were talking about hundreds of thousands of figures. And I got to tell you, that, that was not for me. I don't want to build this up into some giant monstrosity again. Uh, but anyway, I'm painting these for uh, my D&D game just for fun, just as soon as I get a little spare time. Um, it doneth Deepkin. In fact, here, let's go over to the library. Wow, this is going to be a great update. Um, oh, I don't, I don't have the book. Somebody has the book for reference right now. But anyway, Adonith Deepkin is a new faction for Age of Sigmar, and they're really cool. They're like these undersea guys. So my excitement is I'm just now getting in my first bits for these, like the extras, and I plan on incorporating them into my role-playing game stuff because there is some really stupidly awesome pieces in here. Here's those bows. Uh, the, sh the big old sharks have like extra heads on them. Those are going to become monsters and things. Oh yeah. Just ridiculous. Uh, this is my paint station. It's very humble. It's helter-skelter, but guess what? It gets the job done. 
And I like to have two lamps going at the same time. And so I've just started in on some Gene Steeler Cult guys here. I've just got base layers on these guys. And uh, going to be doing a lot of prototypes for those. My son wants white armor, which I think could be really good, but I just need to make sure that I'm doing it right. And uh, we've got at least 100 infantry, probably more like 140 infantry. And we're going to make two armies. But guess what? If you want one, we can just peel one off for you. Add some of the, add some of the new hotness that's coming out, like those... Uh, those jackals, which are these dirt bike riding guys, and some four wheelers. Oh, those are awesome! Oh my gosh, I've really, uh, I've really, really got it for um, for Gene Steeler Cult, and it's one of the few armies I've never done before. And my 17-year-old son is like totally stoked for it. We're set up to go to two tournaments in the near future, which is new for me. I haven't gone to a tournament in. Psh, 16 years. I mean, since before the company started, I haven't gone to one to participate in it. So anyway, um, this is a hodgepodge figure I made for role-playing. I just gave this guy a different writer. It's supposed to be a drow wizard, but I don't know. I think the uh, dark Eldar armor that I put on him for the torso is like too big for the model. So I kind of, I don't know, I've just got mixed feelings. But too late now, I'm going to paint him up. Um, oh, and uh, one of my new artists, Jessica, she made this awesome sand to approximate Games Workshop sand, and uh, she made like 40 pounds of it. So we're going to be set for like the next four years for sand. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Uh, these are just my extra bits, like sprues that I use for conversions and stuff. Gene Steeler Colt, it's a little helter-skelter in there, so I was kind of embarrassed to show this bin, but, you know, they're not... They really can't get broken at this stage. So this is a truck. This model is really cool, by the way. But man, these are $60. Yeesh. But uh, great kit. Lots of extras. So you can't complain about the quality. And uh, again, I would love to do a Gene Steeler Cult Army. And we're ready to go. Like, we're already working on it. So we could actually, if you added some models to it, like you wanted to get some and send them in, we could, um, we could easily do three at the same time. So that's called twinning, or in this case, tripleting a project where we're working on it, and then you just sort of get in on the fun. All right, uh, this you've seen in a couple of videos now. I just have to pack it up, and I'm just, I'm kinda, I'm, I'm, I'm working up, <laughs> I'm working up the nerve to pack this, you know, because uh, this really, this really needs some tender loving tender love and care to get that packed up. So, um, guy, is that it? Um, let me see. Yeah, I've got a great new program called Aspiring Warlord, but you know, this was supposed to be an update, not a pitch. So, uh, I will just, I will just leave it at that. So, thanks for coming along, and by the way, thank you for the business. This is great, because it gives me, it gives me a life, and the uh, modest sort of revenue that comes through here allows me to have a house. Uh, as you guys know, I'm four years divorced, so the house allows me to have my kids over. So it's very, very meaningful to me, and I really appreciate it. I just want you to know, just want you to know how much I appreciate my clients. It's really, it's really amazing. And uh, so thank you very much, and I'm hoping to do more of these. Let me know in the comments if you would like to. Um, if you would like to uh, have me show you something specifically or talk about something, because I'd be glad to do it, because this is like only a few people are going to be actually watching these. All right. Bye.